is Red Dawn happening. And listen, when when one of my and let me tell you how close this is. When one when my uh, groundskeeper, I have a you know full time uh, groundskeeper, if you will, uh, runs into twelve Tajikistan troops, heavily armed, uh, thirty miles in the wilderness. You know, and I'm the only guy in that part of the country uh, that's private. You know, they, had, they did. They listened to you and I. I got to tell you a story. They listened to you and I, and they literally prayed and asked the Lord. This was the day that you and I were on the last time. Is this stuff real? It's not that they don't believe me or you. It's just that sometimes people have got to see it with their own eyes. Let me stop you. We have found photos of the Two Rivers Detention Center uh, at Hardin, Montana. This has not been pulled yet. It only has 301 views. Uh, oh, my. It's a huge facility. In fact, there's other videos of this. This thing looks like Dachau. Well, it is. And i got to tell you something. It, this is what people don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. This is not where you go to get three meals a day. This is designed to basically be an, an absolute, uh, the most dire prison system in the world. Stay there, Steve. Stay there. This is unbelievable. Foreign troops on the ground policing Americans. We will be reporting on this FEMA camp. The photos are unbelievable. We're getting them posted up at prisonplanet.com and Paul Watson's story. There's a whole bunch of different videos and photos. It is a full camp, barber shops set up for families. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at this one, Two Rivers Attention Camp Facts. Click on that one. That's got a shot of the giant facility. I mean, this thing even looks bigger than it did on the news, uh, Steve Quayle. Yeah, and look, Alex, I want to tell everybody something. One of the most disturbing parts of this is, listen, my source told me that one of the managers at a local business in Hardin, Montana, was visited by this new private security force, which is, quote, the new police department. The guy that was visited is an avid hunter, and they came to inform him that they had a list of all firearms that he owned. This includes all the residents of our town, and that he would need to take his guns down to have them put a marking device on them. Now, who can Excuse get? me, you just dropped a bomb on us. This is Red Dawn. They are now, Steve. You don't, Steve. Are you, Steve, you're. We need to have this 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 business owner on. He needs to speak out. Well, again, the deal is, is I will track him down. Okay. Or is the town in fear now? Well, I, I don't think they're in fear. A lot of these people are are really. I'll tell you what, Montanans and I, and they're kind of like Texans. You know, they they're, they'll only take so much. And from what I'm hearing from the hardened people, they're getting very very upset. Okay, but but this is a bombshell, Alex. See, here's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Okay, you can use a cutaway. You can use a false front in Virginia. You can use a an empty office meeting room. But when they start talking, and this was volunteered. That they are going, to, they have a list of all the firearms that he owned. Only the ATF can give that to him, or the FBI, and that they're going to put a marking device on them, and that they would have the uh, the people in town. Now, when people say, "Well, I haven't been told that," well, no offense, if you live forty miles out of Hardin, why would you? You see, this is all part of it. This is absolutely. Hold on, it's got ba it's got education. It's got a school on it. Just That's like the FEMA camp up here that they put the illegals in. The video we've got of the kids on the swings inside. This is a giant facility, Steve. How many does it hold? Well, the uh, the expansion uh, module for it, I'm told that they're talking that it will be ready to take five to 10,000 people. Well, I mean, just from the photos we've seen, it looks like it holds more than that. Well, no, I'm just talking uh, I'm just talking right now, Alex, with what's currently there. I mean, let, let me share this with you. When they're talking 10 to 16,000, 10,000 to 16,000 additional acres, you can only use your mind... Uh, to, to project, I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, pretty flat land in that area, some hills, but the point is is that you can make, this is what people don't understand, the plans to, to incorporate almost instantaneous uh, places to put large amounts of people. I mean, you know, I, I, we calculated that they can basically put, you name the number, they can put it there. And, and the locals were on the news before the news channel pulled it going, we don't know why they built this big camp. We don't know why they're saying there are police now. And, and, uh, and they admittedly, it's a foreign company. I mean, Steve, we have found a actual, real facility. We know they've been shutting down all these other army bases, and now in the congressional record, they admit that's FEMA camps. But, I mean, to have it manned by foreigners, and they're now going... It's on the news they're going around doing police duties, and the local town says, we didn't elect them. I mean, this is... 
I know I'm stunned, Steve. I, I just, when you called me last Friday, I've been so focused on other things. I, did, I saw your email, and I appreciate you trying to break it with us. And I didn't fully understand until I saw it this morning on the news. Because, I mean, you know, I, I believe you when you tell me stuff, but like foreign mercenaries in Harden, I went and looked at it, population a couple hundred, and, and I'm like, what? And I didn't go to the links you sent me, and then, my God, it's... It, uh, I, I mean, even I can't believe this is happening, Steve Coyle. Well, Alex, Alex one of the things that you've got to know is, and you know I don't harass you, I don't inundate you with stuff, but when I do contact you, it's it's of a critical importance. Okay, like, well, you also contacted me two weeks ago to say, look out, I'm under hit team surveillance. What is that about? Well, like I said, the bottom line is, is that uh, specific people already have... Uh, uh, what I would call the red list uh, signed shooters in place. Now, this is something that people have got to understand. Look, the man that gave me the red list, the blue list, and the green list, the blue list, let me let me deal with all of the police, uh, all of the military, everybody out there in the intelligence community, you who are going to facilitate the rounding up of your fellow countrymen will be terminated within 30 to 45 days by the very foreign troops that are here that are just basically taking your names, numbers, and they know So they're phase two. This is what the Russians always do. They yeah. use the locals, then phase two, bring in other brigades. Absolutely, Alex. And so the thing is, is that they're, they're pre-positioning what I call their shooters, okay, their assassination teams. And by the way, I've had multiple law enforcement uh, representatives that listen to this show, your show, my show, our shows, call me and say, you know, it's really weird. We thought you were full of you-know-what, Steve, until we started seeing these guys coming along who were observers in our department, and we were told by our captains and stuff not to ask any questions. Then and that's said, now mainstream news. You yep. said that years ago that they're putting in mercs and regular Army and Marines in departments. Stay there. This is getting heavy.